Oh, that's my computer being computer. I just started this up. I just woke up. Didn't even restart the computer. I jumped straight into this game. My computer can't handle that, but I just felt I really needed to talk about this. Now, as you may have noticed, my um, my burst meter just went down significantly. It was a level four, now it's a level two. Yeah, the solution for that is just to ignore all these enemies. Ignore all these enemies. Because look, this is what happens if I go after them. It went down, see? When you focus more enemy when you focus enemies that are not inside the T, it actually it actually lowers your chance to uh, get a PSC burst. That was actually rather perfect that it proved that. Sorry for the frame rate. Uh, I haven't restarted my computer in a while. Wow. Yeah, see? Now that I'm focusing the T, it's actually deciding. Wow. I actually have not... Huh. What's causing this frame drop? That's weird. Did you finally load up? You load it up now. You know how everything works. See, he wasn't he wasn't a part of the T, so He wasn't a part of the T, so that lowered my score. But you see, um, I can't believe this has been an argument for such a long time. Uh there are a lot of people that don't know how PSC bursts work, and there are surprisingly a lot of people who suffer for that and don't experience PSC burst uh, quite frequently, but I guarantee you it's as easy as following this little symbol right here. You can barely see it because I'm right on top of it, but it's easy. Yeah, it's still loading and everything. Plus, I don't record often. This is actually my first time recording, so. Yeah, it's that easy. Follow the T's. Follow the E's and T's. That's all you gotta do. You know, kill this guy real quick. Now, notice how those guys, those guys are not T's, so you kinda wanna avoid killing them. I know it's inevitable because they're crowding me right now, but if you can help it, you kind of want to avoid killing them. Yeah, this frame drop is really messing with me right now. But yeah, see, I killed, I killed the T, now it's okay to kill these guys because they're the next E. Yeah, see? It's this easy. This is how you form a PSC burst. Now see, they're usually going to leave one enemy behind, one or two enemies behind, but more will spawn behind it. No matter how many enemies are left, you just want to go to the next one as soon as possible. Like right there. See that? Now I got a level 4 burst. The enemy's ready for me. I'm gonna go right over there. Look at that, I even got a PSC burst. Well, I even got a photon blast ready.
See? That's how you do a PSC burst. It's that easy. I can't believe this has been an argument for so long. See how long that took? Even taking into account... Even taking into account that I just started off this computer and there were noticeable frame drops, it still took me significantly less time. I just started this thing up, so there's no RNG. We just started the computer up. This is this is how. Now I notice a lot of people complaining that you know it's too hard to get a PSC burst. You're making it harder than it has to be. And I've I've had a lot of arguments about this. And, you know, a lot of YouTubers are gonna tell you, you know, it doesn't really matter uh, how you farm PSE burst. Uh, yes, it does. If the whole point is to get a PSE burst, this is pretty important because there's like a specific way the game wants you to kill mobs, and they literally highlight it for you. And usually the argument is to the common the common trope is to not touch the T's when they spawn. When if you don't have a level four meter. They say, don't finish the T's. I say finish the T's. Like, it's nothing but, it's purely beneficial to complete the T's. Why wouldn't you complete the T's? Another one spawns in like less than two minutes. Sometimes they spawn one after another. Hold on, I'm just trying to get these last few mobs up here. Like, it, it makes no sense to spare the T's, because um, they spawn again. The, the, the T's spawn again. So... People, people are always talking about, you know, leave the T's open and they call you stupid and whatnot for not, um, for not leaving the T's open. But the T's grant you extra Mazetta. They help increase your meter if you don't have it full already. There's just no reason not to follow the E's and T's because the T literally spawns more E's. And as you can see, the E's definitely increase your meter the fastest. It's easy to go from point A to point B. I mean, the people you're passing by right now, they're going to be eased later. You just got to do what the game tells you, and you'll be rewarded with a PSE burst. See, look. That's one meter already. And, and then there's another T ready. But see, it, like, there's no reason not to. There's no reason not to do PSE burst. Look at all these items I just got. I'm gonna actually gonna hold on to those so I can get more capsules. I mean, just from farming here, I've gotten so many Tempesta bows and whatnot. Yeah, see, I literally just started up the game. Maybe next time I'll play a little bit before I start recording. But yeah. It's that easy. I don't really know why this is an argument, but here's my proof.